Whew, something I talked about many, many months ago. If you guys remember this, the MBK benching slash kicking from Vitality was a huge topic when it did happen. Now, of course, over at OG, and they're climbing the ranks. Meanwhile, Vitality, I wouldn't say stagnant, still has a bunch of potential, but especially given recent light of results ever since they paid three hundred fifty to $400,000 estimation buyout fee for a guy like Shox, and he puts up results like this, it's not something you like to see, especially when MBK and their team, as of right now at OG, like I said before, they're climbing the ranks, showing some potential, and uh, meanwhile, Vitality, who, you know, left him hanging, they're paying the price for someone who they bought for firepower, not showing that firepower. And again, when I showed you guys this many months ago, we remember the departure of MBK from this roster. It was not bittersweet. It was mainly bitter. We saw a lot of messages from MBK, and of course, the classic, the now notorious flick off image. You guys know I don't do those kind of things, but you can assume I'm raising my middle finger there. We were wondering what exactly went down. Ever since then, we now have recently people and rumors talking about, and thanks to Nell for translation as well, guys, pretty much accusing MBK at one point in time uh, being very unprofessional on this roster, and eventually when it came to in-game player comms, uh, at one point in time just not talking. Got pissed off apparently the team and just cho chose not to talk or make callouts whatsoever, which by the way, and I know you guys can take for it what you want. I had heard the same thing from someone in the professional scene. They had told me the same thing. I held back on it until now. Obviously, it's out there as well. So I have heard very similar things about this. But at least now we have an MBK response as well. And what it comes down to, before I break down MBK's response, what it literally comes down to is if anyone out there can actually show evidence. And I would actually prefer if any former Vitality members could come out and say whether or not it's true. That's all it takes. Literally all it takes is one player to come out and say, yeah, he did that, or yeah, he didn't do that. Uh, we can't really, it's kind of weird enough, we can't really trust MBK, I don't mean that rudely, but we also can't trust the rumors out there either. So, former Vitality members, you can give us an answer, yes or no. Did it happen or not? MBK's response as well, I would say a pretty fair one. If you have rumors going around about you, you're kind of forced to say something. As he does say, daily reminder, don't trust everything you read on the internet, which is obviously pretty tough because we're reading his tweets on the internet, but I get where he's coming from. I hate speaking about gossips, what if, and maybes, but me not talking about them ends up hurting my reputation to a point where my credibility and reliability as a competitor is being questioned and it hurts when the past 10 years I have done it all, sacrificed myself for the teams I've been a part of. I hate politics, gossip, and talk that are not useful for my team and me and to be absolutely the best level possible and to bring trophies. Disagreeing on some opinions or choices is a thing, but trying to drag my name in the mud is BS. Which again, I can't fault him for it and these rumors have been going around ever since his leave of Vitality. So as of right now, it's up in the air. Who do you believe? Do you believe the rumors of some pro players in the French scene, which I have heard from, or do you believe NBK on these statements? And can we have his former teammates simply come out and say, hey, that's not the case. Also, um, again, only things I've heard from word of mouth as well, potentially this actually was at the major where he chose just not to make call outs if that adds or takes away anything from this story. Very secondly as well, I would say a huge story, just pure speculation because these guys are going back and forth. It all started seeing tweets from Nafly and of course, uh, I'm a pet, the coach of Evil Geniuses. Uh, they were going a bit back and forth after their series at IEM Katowice, very funnily. And uh, they are definitely dropping some sort of probably just complete teases, complete, not even uh, true hints out there. But you know, with the responses being signing something and I'm a pet's response and trash talk towards a guy like Nafly, it does make you wonder. At the the very very least whether or not it's happening especially given the recent results of a team like evil geniuses who albeit i will i will say it they're struggling right they have been on this depleted exhausted looking mentality for the past dare i say four to five months certainly towards the back half of last year into this year so far they have just looked exhausted in terms of what we saw them reach their peak back at nrg times in the first few moments with eg ever since then though have been out of very, very wary to me. Alongside that, a team like Liquid also pretty stagnant in the results, and we've heard talks about maybe is it a Dren? Is it the coaching that needs to be changed on this lineup? And if you look towards some of the better NA coaching talent, a Dren certainly up there, but I'm a pet, probably your number one pick. Can an evil genius like I'm a pet fix the Liquid problems? And so at the very least, it does make a question, could it happen? I, I think it's in the realm of far out possibility. Can I see it happening? Can I see a guy like I'm a pet leaving evil geniuses after being tied to the squad for so long? I mean, evidently it has to happen eventually, right? Not going to stick it out till retirement, unless I'm wrong there. Now, would it help Liquid? 
I don't know. The argument's up for debate, guys. I, I would love to see a change for sure amidst these teams, um, especially when you compare them to the top three or four teams right now. You know, we look towards the Astralis, the Fanatics, the Mouse Sports, and maybe throw in a few others there, like uh, G2 in a phase. You compare that to where Evil Geniuses and Liquid are right now in terms of impressive results, albeit IEM Katowice is still underway. You have a lot of European teams still rising and a lot of North American teams kind of just flatlining in, in my own regard. I would love to see a few changes here and there, but yet again, we are so close to the major upcoming. I don't know if these changes will be made or if they're even necessary. What do you guys think about this? Two big stories today in CSGO News. I'm back, okay? I'm trying my best to be back and cover everything at once. It's just very difficult and sometimes I stress myself out. Thank you guys for all watching. As per usual, you guys are the homies. Until next time, drink your Wawa. I'll see you guys back here soon.